This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. So, yes, as you've probably gathered, the continuing uh, mods to the Glarry GTL Telecaster copy. Just to recap on what's happened so far, the pickups um, that came with the guitar, they are no more. They were just cheap ceramic pickups. They did the job, but they weren't particularly inspiring sounding. So they've been replaced with some Vance and Alnico vintage Telecaster pickups. Great choice for for uh, an upgrade on a cheap guitar which is exactly what I've done here you know they do punch well above their weight they sound much better than uh, the price tag might suggest I think about 25 quid for the set then after that uh, the bridge saddles the original kind of pot metal bridge saddles I replaced those with some um, Wilkinson compensated bridge saddles and then I took a brave pill and converted it from um, you know top loader bridge as you can see to through body stringing so what am i talking about today what am i uh, going to introduce you to today well it's a new control harness new wiring mod that i've put in and here's a little bit of information on that okay so here we have the new uh wiring harness uh, control assembly whatever you want to call it that's going to be going into the glary gtl telecaster copy um if we take a look underneath this came from axis r us i'll put a link to it in the description you can see you've got uh, nice big cts pots decent uh, capacitors i think it's an oak grigsby switch as well and the switch is what i want to talk about now here it is um we have something slightly unusual going on. We've got one, two, three, four positions on the switch. Now, many of you already know what that means, but in case you don't, what's, what's going on is that uh, you have bridge pickup, then both pickups, as you would normally get on the middle uh, selection on a Telecaster, they would be wired in parallel then uh, we've got both pickups again this time wired in series and that gives a a big fat humbucker kind of tone and then we've got the neck pickup um, so bridge normal middle position on the telecaster big fat humbuckery kind of sound then standard neck pickup sort of sound and um, all of this is already pre-wired you just have to um, you know hook the uh, the pickup wires on and you're good to go so let's have a look at how to do that okay as you can see um, on the Axis R Us website there is a very easy to follow uh, wiring diagram for how to uh, hook all of this up there are in fact as you can see two because there's two different ways that you can wire up this four-way mod essentially you know if you look at how the the, the switch works here you've got bridge put bridge pickup parallel neck pickup then series that's not the one that i've got i've got it uh, with this variant here where it goes bridge parallel series neck i just like having the bridge and neck pickups at either end of the switch essentially um as you saw in the shot of the uh, actual you know control uh, assembly itself all of this is pretty much pre-wired all we're really interested in is where the wires from the pickups go to on the switch and as you can see color coded dead easy to follow um you know it's it's as simple as pie basically uh one thing you do need to consider is that a four-way telecaster mod wiring setup must have separate connections to the cover of the neck pickup and the negative side of the coil this may require modification to the pickup let's just say that that will require modification to the pickup um don't be scared about modifying your pickups it's not a, a huge job it's literally two minutes uh these three connections here on the neck pickup this is obviously the uh the the positive or the hot side of the coil and this is the negative side of the coil okay now under normal circumstances um this middle tab here which is the grounding for the uh for the chrome pickup cover that is usually if you flip the pickup over you would see that there's a jumper wire going between those two um little uh, terminals and basically what you need to do is get rid of that snip it off desolder it whatever just kind of throw it away you don't need it anymore what you then do is then add a third 
wire from the pickup uh, coming from that uh, grounding tab for the uh, for the pickup cover and just run that to a ground anywhere on you know the back of one of your pots basically um, it's just basically uh, without getting too technical the four-way wiring mod won't work unless you do that so make sure if you're going to do this that you do do that and i'm more than happy to uh, report that the wiring mod just wiring it all in was an absolute doddle took no time at all i think from just you know turning the tuning peg to get the uh, to start taking the strings off uh, doing all of the wiring putting it all back together restringing it in tune and everything took about 30 five minutes so you know you can do it on your lunch hour basically um really really easy to do um you know just such a clear set of instructions from Axis R Us um, that you know it was uh, it was an absolute breeze. So just out of interest, let's have a look and see what um, you know that series wiring does to the DC resistance readings we might get. Okay, so the bridge pickup weighs in at six point one seven. Uh, both pickups in parallel gives us three point two three. Then let's see what they look like in series. Oh dear me, um, 12.45 and then neck pickup on its own, 6.6. .6. So quite a, a meaty um, output when uh, they're in series, as you would expect. Okay, so over 12k for that series wiring. That is potentially going to be quite a meaty sounding output. So I'll tell you what. Let's have a listen. Uh, I recorded all of the following examples through these settings in Positive Grid Bias Amp 2. Let's have a listen to what the guitar sounds like. And I've got to tell you, um, that's not what I was expecting. That uh, high reading on the uh, series um, wiring, I was expecting some huge fire-breathing monster of an output, but it's not, I'm pleased to say. Um, it's just like a warmer, rounder, fatter version of that um middle position switch that you would normally on, on the switch that you would normally get on a telecaster uh, i've tried it in uh, a mix on a couple of videos that you're going to be seeing uh, in the coming weeks and it does really just kind of give you that little bit extra output to kind of push you the, over the edge for a solo it just acts as a nice little onboard boost but still keeping that uh telecasterishness to the the overall tone very very pleased with the result of that and um yeah i did mention as i've been talking about this guitar about the things i'm going to be doing to it that um i was planning on you know teaching myself some refretting skills on this guitar and i think i'm going to leave it for now and the reason is because 
you know, I got this guitar just as a as a test bed, th something to tinker with, and it didn't matter if, you know, I kind of made a mess of it. But somehow or other, this guitar has begun to matter to me. So, you know, I'll do a refret when it needs doing, but I think I'm just going to enjoy the guitar um, the way it is for the moment. And finally, um, it is no longer a Glarry. Um, you know, it's it's got uh, a lot of my input into it now, so I've decided to uh, stick this moniker on it, the, uh, the name that I usually give to all of the uh, parts casters and uh, heavily modded guitars that I put together. So it's now officially a JR guitar. Um, and that is it for today, folks. I can highly recommend this four-way mod uh, for any Telecaster-style guitar. It is super easy to do and just gives you that extra little bit of versatility and you don't lose anything in the process and as i say dead easy to do um so hope you've enjoyed the video that that's it for today um don't forget the live stream tomorrow friday 5 p.m uk time where we sit around and have a beer and talk about all things music and guitar related it's a fantastic way to kick off the weekend and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now Thank you.